The Developments Indicator Daily Show highlights the Kuwait Development Plan that aims to fulfill the desire of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah to make Kuwait a trade and financial center through seven strategic goals that will result in the increase of the total local revenues while diversifying its sources. The plan also aims to enhance human development, create jobs, and widen the spectrum of scientific research and technological improvements. Abdul Hussain Abdul Rada Theatre in Points Abdul Hussain Abdul Rada Theatre is one of the most modern Kuwaiti theatres which opened on January 18, 2016 in Salmiya. The percentage of completion of the Abdul Hussain Abdul Rada Theatre reached 100%. Abdul Hussain Abdul Rada Theatre is managed by the National Council for Culture, Arts and Literature. The theatre was named after the late artist Abdul Hussain Abdul Rada in honour of his artistic career. The first show on stage of Abdul Hussain Abdul Rada was displayed on the 30th of March 2015. Kuwait has always been and will always be a station of artistic glamour in general and in theatre in particular. Abdul Hussain Abdul Rada Theater is a Kuwaiti theater that was recently built in Kuwait and is located in Salmiya area. The theater is architectural masterpiece under the supervision of the National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters. Many events, cultural seminars and festivals organized by the National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters take place there. Social media users also shared photos of the dates of the events, seminars, and cultural evening that take place on the theater. And here are some of the reviews. Hip said, Artistic theater with a modern touch of decoration. Love it. It has lots of activities all year round. And Fahad said, One of the main and newest theaters in Kuwait, which has been named after the most famous Kuwaiti comedian actor, in the Arab region. And here is Batu saying, the best place for music and orchestra lovers. And Khaled said, grateful all art activities. Great place, very proud to have a theater like this in Kuwait. For more information or details regarding Abdel Hussain Abdel Rada Theater, please visit the official accounts of the National Council for Culture, Art and Letters, shown on the screen. On the occasion of the 2nd of August, the National Council of Culture, Arts and Letters presented a movie under the title Pigeon's Flock, directed by Ramadan Khasro at Al Hamra Grand Cinema. Meanwhile, the film's dramatic events talk about the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait and how the Iraqi forces dealt with groups of Kuwaiti's resistance. Also, you can see how these groups had only two choices, either fighting back bravely or giving up. More in the following report. On the memory of the 2nd of August, Kuwait remembers a very sad event that hit Kuwait in 1990, when a neighbor country, Iraq, invaded Kuwait's safe land, taking many of its youth. It's, uh, it's part of the National Council, and it's for the summer festival, and it's the start of the summer festival. And uh, it's a, a day that was forever, forever in our minds as a very... Uh, bad day because it's the day that the occupation of Kuwait started or the invasion of Kuwait started and we chose to start on this day to, to change it into a day that we're grateful for being uh, Kuwaiti, grateful to be uh, free. So on the occasion of the Summer Cultural Festival 13, the National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters presented a movie called A Big Wind's Flag, directed by Ramadan Khasaro in Cinema Al-Hamra Mall. I was in the 1990 and uh, 
the next generation they, they don't know what happened so uh, I was afraid maybe somebody some of them they come and said okay grandpa you, you were you been in that time so what did you did for us uh, I think by doing this movie by doing this uh, uh, project I think uh, I find uh, a wonderful answer for them just they can go to the library and uh, and uh, take the movie and they can watch it and they, they will know what happened in 1990 in Kuwait. Sir Hamam uh, talks about uh, a human case uh, most of all and uh, we are not talking about the invasion and like that we are talking about the human anywhere so and also we are uh, telling that uh, the Kuwaiti citizens are heroes when we have any problem that concerns Kuwait that's the main case for our movie. Meanwhile, this Kuwaiti film is inspired by Sheikh Intisar Salim Al Ali, and the film dramatic events talk about the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait and how the Iraqi forces dealt by groups of Kuwaiti's resistance.